Should you work at McDonald's? That's a question that a lot of people have asked themselves when first getting a job. For me personally, I didn't want to work at McDonald's. I thought that it was overrated, and that was the last place I wanted to work, but it was the first place I worked, unfortunately. <laughs> Overall, I just want to tell you the experience and if you should work there or not, because hey, a lot of people don't know, and I kind of thought I'd make this video to help you decide, you know? But we're going to get into uniform real quick. Alright, that's better. Now I couldn't find my original McDonald's hat, so I'm just going to improvise to make do. Basically, that's the idea of the hat. So, obviously you know the uniform. I'm sure all of you have seen it. This is the one I was issued. Got the, the apron, my apron little name tag. Now back to the subject at hand here. Should you work there? Due to my experiences there, I've... It was good in the beginning, and it kind of ended good as well. I put my two weeks in, and I was there for... I was there for nine months. I started in August last year and kind of ended a couple months ago. I can't really remember. But the experience was something that it's a work experience and I won't forget that. Now, I want to say right now, the people there are probably the best thing of the job. If you're really friendly with people, because uh, the people I worked with were, then you're going to get along with people who there share your common interests. Well, if you like stress, hard work, manual labor, and uh, well, I guess that's pretty much the same thing and people yelling at you, you're gonna love McDonald's. No, but in all seriousness, it's a job, so, especially McDonald's, the title, fast food, doesn't, it's not just there for show. You gotta be fast, you gotta be quick on your feet, moving around, especially when you get packed, oh my God, it's difficult. I worked in a smaller business, so I don't really know the full potential of McDonald's, but I kinda got the gist of it. Um, now, McDonald's is a great place for your starting job, and honestly, it's probably the only store that's going to hire you, because they're desperate for, desperate for workers. They need workers. That's just the thing. They need workers. So don't go thinking, like, oh, how you might, like, yeah, I'm going to get that job, because you don't know. McDonald's has a better chance of hiring you than, we'll just say, Family Video does, just to throw one out there. Now, I didn't want to work at McDonald's my first job. I was just like that. What I just said, I was just like that. I thought I was high money. I thought I didn't need to work at McDonald's. But I started narrowing down and started thinking to myself, I'm like, well, you know what? It's probably the only place that's going to hire me right now. I'm 16. There's not much I can do about it. So Storm got a job there. Yeah. And uh, it was stressful. And that's pretty much why I quit, because I also have school. Now, McDonald is something you shouldn't take lightly. Not the joke saying, like, oh, it's McDonald's. Whatever. <laughs> that's not true. McDonald's will put your ass in gear. Like, that is no joke. Let's look at the positive things, though. The pay is good depending on your hours, so if you're working like 40 hours a week, you're gonna bring in that cash. Cashies. <laughs> also, just the people there, it's amazing. Just, just talking to each other, laughing, and you can just like... And plus, look at it this way. 16 to even now, you have a job that pays money. A lot of people don't have that. Some of your friends, you'd be like, yeah, especially in high school, a lot of your friends don't have a job. Like, I was, so I was banking in dough, and my friends were like, oh, and they're so jealous. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I guess when you tell your friend that you have made $400, they get pretty, you know, I'd get jealous. I normally worked in the back area. I did not want to work counter, because counter is where all the assholes are. So I worked in grip. Uh, I did grill for a while, and I was getting kind of sick of it, because they are always throwing me on grill when I asked to do new stuff. And they threw me on back wall, which was great. I love back wall. Back wall is where you do nuggets, uh, McChickens, crispy chickens, fillets, some other thing. That's pretty much it, though. And then they started putting me on line. Now, online is where you make the sandwiches. I did not know anything about that. I was so slow. I was getting yelled at, because I was slow. And it was, I've never been trained there. They just threw me on it. And they kind of told me the gist of it, and I kind of had to look up at the signs that were all over there, and like, okay, that goes with that, da da da. And then they threw me on dishes. Now, I love dishes. Now, before you start making fun of me, dishes was awesome. And I'll tell you why. Everyone's always nagging you when you're up there at grill, even at counter, they're just nagging you. Even when you get put on fries, which I hate fries. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, but when you're in dishes, it's quiet. Like, no one bugs you except when they bring back the trays, which is, you know, expected, because they're dirty. So you clean them, and it's just great. Hours will fly by, especially if you're working, like, seven-hour shifts. They will just fly. 
which was great because I did not really was not too keen on working nine hours a day. Sometimes when they threw that at me, or I like not so that eight hours a day when they threw that at me. So I'd ask for dishes, and sometimes I got it, which was great. Oh, and that took like knocked three hours off, and I had five hours left. Plus, five hours means to get a break, so I had a break coming up, which was even better. I'd flirt with the girls there all the time, and it's pretty much some of the best memories I have. Like, I had so many crushes at that place. Also, I had so many best friends at that place. There are still people that work there that I just, I keep talking to. They, the reason why I quit, though, was because I got sick with the flu, and then they, uh, guess they thought I was joking about that, and then I got sick, and here's a side note and a key note. Do not just up and quit. Put your two weeks in. Because if you just up and quit, they're not going to give you the job back if you really need it. They're going to tell you to screw off and go somewhere else. Put your two weeks in. It's professional. It's decent. It's what you want to do. Because in case you know, you know, low, low, and your place is not working out well, come back to there, and they will pick you right back up. And luckily, I'm friends with most of the managers there. I don't know how you can be friends with the manager. I was. And they all liked me. Well, I hope. I mean, I hope they're not just playing the nice guy act in front of me. And uh, I bet you, if I asked for my job back, I bet you I could get it if I wasn't focusing on getting another job. But should you work at McDonald's? Well, I think, yeah, I think you should. I think you should work there. Starting off, like, it's not for the faint of heart, though, I will say that. Because there are people who have just mental breakdowns working there, dude. And I've seen some. I've seen some where they just up and cry because customers. And that's... Customers, first of all, you guys can't order 43 items expected to be done in 10 minutes. It doesn't work that way. Especially when we're packed. Um, but other than that, I'd give it a shot. It was definitely a fun experience. I made some money. I was super cool until I quit. <laughs> and now I'm just back to nothing. I'm back with like all my friends. Do I regret quitting? I do and I don't. I don't because there's so much more free time I have now, which is great. I do because I'm not making that money anymore. Alright, so the very big, you should definitely give it a shot if you're working somewhere that's going to be easy and hard at the same time. And it's great money, great income, and you'll be fine. You just gotta have, you just gotta man up and follow what all the people say. And if you don't understand something, ask a question. Ask people. Like, hey, I don't understand what to do. And most of the time, they'll help you out. Other times, they'll just be assholes and just forget about you. So... Honestly, that's McDonald's in a nutshell there. Alright guys, well I hope uh, you can make a decision about this uh, by watching my video. Uh, if I didn't make any key points, well, I'm sorry. That's all I can, that's all, um, all I can think about right now. Alright guys, well you have a great day. Keep it up. Like if you like, share if you liked it, and you want to share it with your friends. And comment, and you know, subscribe if you want to see more. Alright guys, love you. Bye-bye. Do I regret quit? Uh, oh.